I wish I could give you a world without pain. $250,000. For a healthy baby. Commander Cushing doesn't believe that I was taken against my will. You need to answer his questions very carefully. You ready for this? The Commander will forgive my trespasses. We need to find those among us who wish to do us harm. <gasps> Today, we find ourselves at a crossroads. Fred Waterford knew what he had in Serena Joy. This is what we wanted. Hmm? Our policies and ideas discussed in the mainstream. Clearly, Fred gravitates towards powerful women. Serena is instrumental in the architecture of Gilead. We see a lot of those crazy scenes where she's confronted by a not-too-happy audience. She has a right to speak. It's not fake. This is America. She's so grounded and what she stands for, her ability to be a spokeswoman. The future of mankind depends on what we do today! What we do today! They both agree upon the Gilead philosophies and the need for world change. your food. I'm full, Mrs. Waterford. Is there anything that you need? Oh, aren't you sweet? I wish Alfred were as pleasant. No. No, you are a married woman of faith. The handmaid will do it. This season, the relationship between Alfred and Serena is such an epic roller coaster ride. There's a kind of weird camaraderie, but then it comes crashing down. And this is Serena's way of, of shutting her out one more time. Now you try. I felt a cramp. Don't want to hurt the baby. Of course not. That dynamic is so interesting, and the power play shifts constantly. My brothers! Terrorism comes to Gilead. And there will be great fallout from that. There's the fury that the audience feels towards Gilead is reflected in the fury that most of the women there are feeling, and that kind of fury is not gonna go away. It's not time yet. Tell her to go back. These women are smart and resourceful and not containable. These women throw losing their fear and get very creative in ways to hurt other people. The rules of engagement of the resistance versus the power elite, those rules have now shifted. 